This is so much easier to do when you don't have to set up any fucking lights. Thank you, son. Hi there, it's one of the last summery days, so I thought maybe it's a good idea to take advantage of the beautiful natural lighting we have this Sunday and record a little video for you. So today I want to do a very simple thing, which I do like to call my face but better makeup. So technically it's not like no makeup makeup, but it's literally just like do some bare minimum and look put together. It's the kind of situation when your colleague is like, we have a Zoom meeting at five, you, you're counting on it, right? And you're like, yeah, sure, absolutely. I, I totally didn't forget about it. Or if, you know, your significant other is like, yeah, you know, the bus is going in 15 minutes, let's go grab some dinner. And you're like, oh yeah, sure, I didn't look like shit at all. In all those lovely situations where you just don't want to look like someone who ran out of the house five minutes ago or out of the bed. We all have been there. Let's get into that. Like for each step, I kind of picked together like a couple products that I really like for that particular purpose. Just so you know, this will look like a lot of shit, but it's not. Like when I have to do my makeup using some of these products, because I usually never use all of them, it takes me like, what, five, ten minutes. This is more like a rundown of like what you can do, but you don't have to. You can literally skip anything. I mean, fast makeup is all about sacrifice. First thing I want to say, put on your fucking SPF. Okay, that's step one every time, no matter what you do. So um, that's always step number one, skin prep. Important, you wanna look hydrated, you wanna look glowy, or then you gotta hydrate that skin, right? If you wanna put on some makeup, which you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the base at all. However, you know I'm a sucker for pore filling. I love it, my pores are huge, I need something good. I recommend going in with pore fillers that are not completely matte, because then you literally just end up with like matte, to spots all over your face and that looks very unnatural and like really weird. What I would recommend is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer or their Prep and Blur Stick because those are just some great products. Even as I applied you can see that I'm not like losing all of that skin like sheen. I'm just slightly blurring the area but it's still hydrating enough that it's not gonna make me look like I have a fucking weird filter on my face. That's usually step number one from me. Then depending on whether I want to use some kind of foundation or not, I will go in with a primer. So one thing you can do is just spray your face down with something like this that is like a multi-purpose product. Or what I like to do is take some primer that's like hydrating and is just going to kind of like top off the moisturizer and make me like a little bit more glowy because trying to be matte and like low maintenance is really like not simple. There are two primers that I particularly like for this and one of them is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Primer which is extremely hydrating, really pretty and I just really like it because it's very lightweight and it sits well with all of my foundations. And then I really like the Belle Beauty Glow Primer which is very similar to the Becca purple primer. But this one is a little bit less like shimmery and it's a little bit thicker, but it's still a very nice primer. So I think... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Glow primer. But see how, how like nice sheen it gives me? It's just such a nice primer. I could pretty much just go out like this, like this would be all I really need, just a little bit of a nice healthy glow and you're good to go. <laughs> healthy glow, good to go. This one does the same thing but it looks a bit more natural and not as like um, tin many. Now for the base, you can skip the foundation completely, you can just cover your face with a little bit of concealer in places, powder it down and be good to go. But if you want a little bit something extra but you don't want to like you know, deal with the whole fucking foundation thing. You can do a couple things. One thing I like to do, and this is not gonna be popular because nobody liked this, but this is the Becca Zero Virtual No Pigment Foundation. There was a time in my life when this was literally my most used makeup product. And I still like it, on a, like occasionally, because I find that it makes a great base. Not necessarily a great primer, it has no coverage, but the bronzer and other stuff blends better on it than just on your bare face. Or my other option is going in with a powder foundation. Now, of course if you wanted to do that you would do your cream products first my favorite is the Fenty one as you can clearly see by the pen or you can take something that's like very light coverage and like very easy to apply of course you can go in with any like CC cream BB cream something but for me the application process of those is the same as with the foundation so then I'm like why would I not just use the foundation Right. So I like to use things that are easier to apply than a regular foundation. And for me, 
that's not majority of my CC creams. So one product I would absolutely love to recommend is the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint. This is incredible. The packaging looks like a total fucking gimmick. Like it's a rollerball, right? You just press it over here and you can like see the bubbles of foundation coming up. Then you just apply it, blend it out. It's great. Like if, if it fits your skin type, it's gonna be perfect. Like I love it so much. I think this is like my favorite foundation right now and it has SPF 30. It blends really easily. It looks beautiful. It's not too sheeny, but it does contain quite a lot of oils. So it's more like for dry skin people, I guess. This is what I reach for on the daily. And then the Revolution Pro Creme Skin Perfector CC Skin Tint. I have the shade light. And it's one of those things that goes on white with the little beads of pigment and then it just bursts on your face as you apply it. This is great. It says that it's shade adapting, which I don't really believe because it's slightly too light for me. It's just nice. It's uh, It has very nice finish and it has like a little thing like this. And I actually think I'm gonna apply that right now. And the nice thing about it is you can just take your foundation brush you can literally just squirt a bit on there and you go in. And you get like the most beautiful light coverage which is just very easy to do. This literally took me like, well, 30 seconds. It's just nothing. And it doesn't apply streaky. It's really nice. It's super lightweight. It's just so good, so good. Again, one of the products I reach for on the daily basis. That's how we're looking. Of course, you could apply it with your hands, with a brush. Next, what I would do is concealer. Now, usually I go for concealers that have a little bit more coverage, but when you're wearing like very light coverage base and then a full coverage concealer, sometimes you have like a line and it looks a little, Iffy. So what I like to do is take something that has a little bit lighter coverage and that's just gonna blend really easily and it's gonna look very natural. So those are my top three picks. We have the Essence Skin Love Insensitive Concealer, which is one of my favorites. Then we have the ELF Flawless Brightening Concealer, which is one of these like brushy ones. So again, it's, it's a good thing. It's easy to apply. And then I have this Catrice. You had to put the fucking sticker over the name, didn't you? The Catrice Instant Awake Concealer. This is a new one. This is my third one. And all of these concealers are very similar in the texture. They're not too matte. They're not too drying. And they're kind of around medium coverage. This one might be the most full coverage one out of them. They're all kind of buildable, long wearing, very natural. And if you pick the right shade, you can literally just get away with wearing one of these on their own. So if I wasn't to do all the priming and base, I would just slap one of these on and be good to go. I think I'm gonna take the Catrice one. Hello. right? It's a very nice concealer. Now I have to powder that down, otherwise my under eyes are just gonna emigrate. What I like to do with powder is not go in with anything too matte, because again, matte just makes shit like weird. I prefer slightly sheeny powders. One that is not completely matte and it has hyaluronic acid in it is the Catrice True Skin Mineral Loose Powder. I'm pretty much out of this one, but it's a very good powder. I also really like the Zoeva Finishing Powder in the shade Outstanding, so I think I'm gonna use this one. I also like these two because I can use them for both my under eyes and my face. Because some powders are just better on my under eyes and I don't want to set my whole face in them and vice versa. So these are just great universal powders. Now I would normally powder the rest of my face. However, when I want to boost that complexion a little bit further, I like to go in with some bronzers and blushes. What I find is that cream blushes and cream bronzers are just the shit. They're fast to use, they're easy to use, they blend well usually if you have a good one. And they just look really natural and nice and you don't need to like fuck around with 50 powders. For my bronzer, I have multiple options. <laughs> I really prefer like super creamy blendable formulas and I don't like them to be too dewy because for bronzer that's not a good thing for me. So one that I really really like is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. 
um it's disgusting don't don't look at it and the other one i've been really liking lately and that's been traveling with me everywhere is the made by mitchell blush in shady business so good both of them so good this one is a little bit more matte and you can actually use it on powdered face as well because it's like a cream to powder formula it sits beautifully on anything. This one also works on powders. I have tried it. It's a slightly more dewy formula, so it looks a little bit more skin-like. But again, it's very easy to apply. It just blends really well. Both of them are just great. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna use the Made by Mitchell. done it's it's very easy to go overboard with it but honestly because i'm quite tan this is not that bad and when it comes to blush i have a very similar reasoning that like powder blushes just usually look quite powdery and if they're like more of that sheeny formula they look a little bit glittery if you don't have like a full face on my favorite cream blushes at the moment again made by mitchell this one is in melon sorbet beautiful it's from the summer collection thank you mitchell for creating it i've been really liking the rare beauty stuff pinch blush in the shade bliss it's the matte formula i know they have like two formulas they look very similar in the bottle but this one is like pinky and this one is like peachy i think i'm gonna take Mitchell and I find that it applies best from the back of my hand with a nice and small stippling brush. Again it's quite easy to go overboard with it but that's why I like to take my foundation brush and just kind of tap it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna powder the rest of my face with the same Zoeva powder, because no matter how much time I have, I'm always gonna powder my face. I could use a little bit more brightening on the eyes, so I'm gonna take the thousand years old, super broken, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is like a very, very helpful thing If you need like a quick brightening at any part of your face, this is a really, really handy kind of thing. And the formula of the Essence one is unbeatable. We have majority of the complexion done. Now let's add a highlighter to tie all the complexion together. And for highlight, either I would go cream and I would use creams that I know work quite well on powders. So my two favorite cream highlighters are the Max Factor Medical Sculpting Wand, the highlighting one, and then the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in Champagne Pop. They're both very similar. They have like the champagne -y neutral tone and they're very pretty. I'm gonna try the Becca one. This is also a product I love to wear just on my bare skin, especially in the summer. And if I was to go for a powder highlight, I would go for something baked because those always look so natural. This is the Essence Glowing Gold's Vitamin C Baked Highlighter. And this has been like one of my favorite baked highlighters I own. If I was to pick just like one step out of all of these, I would just do the highlight and be out the door. We gotta make it a little bit longer. We gotta make the video interesting. So now brows, there are like thousands of ways that I do my eyebrows. And it really depends on how much time per Pressure is being put on me at the moment. One thing I usually do in general is put on a brow pen and put on a brow gel. Now if I am in a hurry I'm gonna take a brow pen that is not too dark, maybe a little bit lighter than my eyebrows, so that I don't have to be too precise. And one that is like that is the Lime Crime Bushy Brow in Dirty Blonde, which is literally like my hair color. It just it's almost like undetectable, it just makes them a little bit more bushy. Then I would go in with a super strong hold brow gel, just like the Nude Sticks Brow Boost, which is my favorite brow gel ever fucking made and if i'm like really in a hurry and i really just don't have time to fuck around with a brow pen i'm just gonna take a tinted brow gel with some hold so my favorites for that are the benefit gimme brow and the catrice volume and lift brow mascara i'll just put that on and be done with it so i think that's actually what i'm gonna do today i am going to use the catrice volume and lift brow mascara
they're rarely even, I don't think they even can be even really. They just kind of work, you know? It's something better than, than having nothing in them, I guess. If I have more time, I could just fill in the sparse areas with a pencil or a pen. Let's just say I don't. Now for my eyes, if I'm really in a hurry, I'm just gonna throw on a mascara and go. Uh, if there's a little bit of time, I do like to use just an eyeshadow primer because I don't like how my eyes are like really veiny and they're also very oily so you know I just like to set them with something uh, one thing that I have and I really like for that and I'm not sure if they still make it is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier powder lid and liner base and this is basically like a powder eyeshadow primer and it's like it's so good for this if you really just need to set your eyes so they don't look so veiny otherwise I would just go in with like a regular eyeshadow primer I just took this Catrice one because it was on hand just any any slightly tinted I wouldn't go in with the white one if I don't want to do a full-on look. So, because I kind of want to do some eyeshadow, I will use the Catrice one. Of course, I have to set it now. Either you can just um, take your powder and set it with that or I would go in with like this kind of shade just like a very simple or you can take just like a nice eyeshadow palette right and just do like a quick little something but if you really just don't feel like doing anything another great thing you can do is just use a cream shadow that's matte I already spoke about this Sephora colorful special effect eyeshadow this is like one of my favorite things to use when I'm in a pinch and I also have this Catrice liquid eyeshadow waterproof which is like this nice nudie color and it's also very easy to use very similar to this one so I think I'm gonna use this one and then top it off with something nice and shimmery Okay, so you can see there's just a little bit of shadow going on in my eye socket, which is quite nice. Now I would just take any eyeshadow, like something like this, like the Super Shock formula or this from Trend It Up is a very cute one. So I might as well just go and use this one. It's the Pure Nude Baked Eyeshadow. And I'll just tap a little bit on. To give the eye a little bit of some sparkle. You don't really need anything more if you think about it. If I'm gonna go this far, I will probably go in with an eye pencil. In this case, I would just do something nude. So I would use like a nude eye pencil or if I really wanna open up the eyes, I'm gonna go in with something shimmery. So today I think I'm gonna go for the nudie one. That's it. It kind of opens up your eyes. I just don't like having bare waterline, I guess. I usually don't like do wing or anything like that because it just takes too much time and you have to be precise and that's annoying. So if I'm gonna do anything in the liner category, I'm gonna take a powder eyeliner or like a black eyeshadow, 100%. And I'm just gonna line the lash line like in the simplest way possible. This is my favorite brush to do this. I believe this is a brow brush. It's very slim, it's very square, I really like it. So I will take either brown or black today, I think we're going brown. And I'm literally just gonna press it up against my lash line. Now do, let's be real, okay? I usually fuck this up so it doesn't look as good as I would like to. So I'll just take a small brush and just smudge it a little bit. See? It does a lot. When it comes to mascaras, I mean, I don't really care. I'll just take whichever mascara is laying around and I'll just apply that. Yeah, let me just highlight my inner corners because that is a thing I always do no matter what. I just have to. Yeah, and then to top it all off and to kind of get rid of the powdery look, if you even have any powdery look, I will usually go in with something a bit more hydrating. So either I will take like my Pretty Fresh Mist from Colourpop or again the Clean ID Mist from Catrice. So today I'm going to use the Colourpop one. I haven't used that one in a while. 
it kind of melts in your skin and just makes everything look a lot more natural and just like less makeup -y, even though there's not really much makeup on my face as you saw now what one second please okay so with lips in particular you have a lot of like stuff you can do and one of those things is of course go just like lipstick less, nobody cares. But if you want to put something on, I would recommend some of these, these things. First thing I have, which is actually what made me do this video, is this Catrice Ultimate Stay Water Fresh Lip Tint. This is literally my lip color in a bottle. Lip tints are usually very long wearing, they're lightweight, they look cute, very low maintenance. That's like a nice option what to wear if you really just need to slap something on. Another great option like this are tinted lip balms, which are also one of my favorite products. I have these from the Soph and Revolution collab. I've been wearing the shit out of those. They're so good. You can wear the lip liner with them. You don't have to wear the lip liner with them. They look great on their own. Another thing is you can take a gloss. What I like to have in a gloss is something pale, neutral, just really simple. This is the Baby Brood Gloss Balm from Fenty Holiday Collection. Or you can go in with tinted lip oil, which is very much in the like tinted lip balm category this is the lux tinted lip oil from colourpop that's all rubbed off but it is you have to trust me in the sheet skinny dip which is also a great thing to put on your mouth or this is like one of my newer discoveries this is the catrice tinted lip glow balm this is like a lip gloss in a tube so i think this is like actually genius i'm gonna use the lip stain though because this is why we're all here today in this video See? This is seriously my lip color. How did you do this, Catrice? Tell me. And that is it, my friends. That is absolutely it. This is what I would do if I had like five minutes to, to go out and trust me, this would take even less than five. <laughs> this is the finished look. It looks like my regular makeup. That's true. But you saw that there's not a lot going on. Like my whole base is just this which doesn't have really any coverage so um for me this is like my perfect i'm going to dinner in five minutes look i have a zoom call in five minutes look i just woke up and they cannot know kind of look that's just what i would go for neutrals are your friend everything quick is your friend creams are your friend maybe that's kind of helped you and navigated you towards some nice like everyday products i guess because those are really products that i would use on my daily basis and this is the look that i would make every time i go like grocery shopping or something <laughs> yeah i hope you like it maybe maybe helped you maybe not oh boy i love this lip color wait a minute it's my lip color Anyway, thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing, and if you want to see more videos when I try out drugstore makeup, check out the drugstore makeup playlist. See ya!